everyone! Today I am really excited because this video was specifically requested by one of you. I thought that it was a really cool request. It was just different and also something that we all kind of wonder about, like what other people do on days when they're not wearing makeup. I probably spend about 50% of my time wearing makeup and 50% of my time not wearing makeup. There are totally days where I don't wear makeup and I don't bother doing my hair and I'm just kind of dressed in my best slob wear and I love it and we all need days like that. But there are days where I don't wanna be wearing makeup but I still wanna feel a little bit more put together. So what I'm about to show you is the routine that I like to go through through when I'm having one of those days where I don't want to wear makeup but I still want to go through some sort of routine and not just like be in my sweats all day. Having a routine in general can be really great for your productivity and I also think that it's really great to not wear makeup. One because it's great for your skin. It's a really nice break to let your skin breathe for an entire day and I think the more that you do it the more that you start noticing seeing really great changes in your skin. It really has helped me just become more comfortable with who I am and just myself and how I look. And I think what that does is that it allows you to be more in touch with who you actually are. So then you can enjoy makeup on the days when you do decide to use it. And that's why I really loved this request so much. And I hope you find this helpful as well. So let's get into it. The first thing I like to do is make sure that I'm clean on a very basic human level, which means taking a shower. Then I move into my regular skincare routine, which consists of my Tatcha face polish, which I really, really love because it gently exfoliates my skin and also really cleans it. I have also become a big believer in using an essence because that helps all your products really sink into your skin. I put a little bit of this on before putting on any kind of moisturizer. I've been using the Bare Minerals Eternal Elixir Face Oil every single day, day and night, and it is so great at just plumping up your skin and moisturizing it, but not making you feel greasy. And I love how refreshing the citrus scent is. Then I like to put on a little bit of one of my all-time favorite eye creams from Shiseido. So I have been using this moisturizer recently and I really like it because it doubles as a primer but it's not adding any kind of color to my face. It's providing moisture and just minimizing the appearance of my pores. It goes on really smooth, it smells really good, it kind of smells like summer which I really appreciate. It just makes my skin feel really good so it's hydrated and smooth. My pores are minimized but I'm not technically wearing any makeup on my face. This is a must-have for me on days when I don't wear makeup. Then I like using this face spray to just freshen up my look and it's also a good pick-me-up to use throughout the day and you can also use this on days when you do wear makeup as a setting spray but it's just something that's good for your skin and feels really good and gives you a little bit of a glow and so i can maintain my smell goodness i wear deodorant the reason why i like this meow meow tweet deodorant so much is because one it's a really gentle deodorant so it doesn't have any bad ingredients in it it doesn't irritate my skin and since it's a cream consistency, I can just dip my finger in. And even if I already have clothing on, I can easily just get underneath my arms and apply my deodorant without any kind of white marks or streaks on my clothing. I also like to use these days to show extra love to my lips. I like using lip scrubs regularly, but especially on days when I'm not wearing makeup, because I just kind of see these days as days to really amp up my skincare routine and really take care of my skin and focus on that. So this is the part where I would normally be applying makeup, but that is 
not what we're doing today, obviously. But there are still a couple of grooming things that I like to do. I am using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to comb through my brows. Brow gel is always a staple for me because my brows can just get really unruly. So I'll just use a clear brow gel and brush it through my eyebrows, which I'm still growing out by the way. We're going strong here. Then I like to come in and curl my eyelashes. Even though I'm not putting on any mascara, this still helps to lift my lashes and open up my eyes, especially because my eyelashes grow down and they're super, super straight. I actually remember the first time I ever used an eyelash curler. Aside from being really scary, I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know this was possible and that it would make this much of a difference. Last but not least, a little bit of lip balm. I have used this a ton. It is the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. So there's no color on this aside from the little flecks of lipstick that are on here because I was using it over lipstick the other day. I also like doing my hair because because having clean hair that is styled in the way that I want to wear it that way just helps me feel a little bit more put together. Today, I am going to be putting my usual waves into my hair and I start off with a heat protectant. So this is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And then I like to come in and just kind of work with these little flippies first and bring them in a little bit before I actually start curling my hair. Now I start the curling process and I just take a piece of my hair, put it through the straightener and twist as I go down. I mostly like curling away from my face, but sometimes I'll integrate a couple of curls that are going the opposite way. Now that I'm finished heat styling, I'm going to use the Kerastase Volume and Powder Spray, and this has been one of my favorites. So I just spray this mostly at my roots and then a little bit in the length of my hair for texture and volume. Now I'm going to change into my outfit. I am wearing one of my favorite oversized sweaters. This is really cozy. I can wear it with a ton of different things. Underneath I'm wearing a simple striped tank top. Both of these things, by the way, are from Club Monaco. For jeans, wearing those good old J brand dark wash jeans, which you just see all the time in my videos. And for shoes, I am wearing some slip-ons. These are from Saludos and I love them because they have little avocados on them. It adds a little whimsy into the whole look. When you're not really wearing any color on your face, sunglasses are a really great accessory to add some color into your look. So I'm wearing these like rose tinted sunglasses that add a nice subtle hint of color. All right, so that is my routine for days when I don't wanna wear makeup, but I still wanna do a little something. This process is different for everyone and wearing makeup is a really wonderful thing and not wearing makeup is a really wonderful thing. And it's all about finding a balance that works for you. We all have different style, different personal tastes, and I think that's what makes the beauty world so amazing because we all bring something different to the table. And don't put too much pressure on yourself either. This took me years to become more comfortable with and there are still days where I struggle with it a little bit more than other days because I have had a history of really bad skin and really bad acne and that was something that affected me really deeply and I felt like I had to wear makeup all the time. The biggest thing that I have learned over the last decade of pushing myself to not wear makeup on certain days is that I love who I am when I'm not wearing makeup. I think that it's really cool to be in touch with your body, with yourself on that level and to just take in the things that you love and the things that 
you may not necessarily love and kind of wonder why you know you think that way i think when we dig deep and think about our insecurities a lot of times it's because of other people's judgments or what we're afraid other people's judgments will be and so i really encourage you to free yourself and step out into the world as who you are in this very moment without makeup and see how it goes. I am sending you all a huge hug. Please leave comments down below if you have any other questions about this because I would love to answer them and I'll see you guys later. Bye.